And so this is, this is the village dean, this is what it's called, the village dean. If you go ahead. There's actual the city centre of Sunderland up there. Uh, and this is Hendon Promenade here. Where I fish. <laughs> it's all the promenade. Soften rocks. That's it, corner bit. That's where Hill 60 is casted out of there. And then this is where we are. And then we come round here. And we come out as here, the beach. Right, I've seen another beach which is miles brown there. I won't do this in today's video. Which is really nice, the beach. You've got to go for a bit of air. Uh, I think you need to go through it. But uh, that's the thing, that's where I'm going to go. I'm going to go here. Three along there, come up here. Then we're gonna go along this way, along the cliff top, show you the different views, and come off there. See that viewpoint there from the top, and go down right up now because there's a lot of viewpoints along. You should see that's at the mall. A lot of viewpoints, but uh, that's the rest of the map with something right down through the beach. And you see, is the beach here. There's right, there's that sulfur and rocks over there. The edge there around that corner, but there's soften rocks. This is the beach. It's quite a vast beach. Yeah, uh, you can see it's got a mix of different type of rocks, which you got to be careful on bringing in. This is the when it comes to high tide, the tide comes right up over here, right up to them steps on a big tide. I mean, it's just coming in about an hour. Into, the tide's been coming in for about an hour. As you can see, there's quite a big swell on this. There's a whistle, but in the wind, summer, winter, like this on a winter's night, when the collins in this would be a perfect night. Here's the other side of the beach. As you can see, that's a well known little sitting up bit that. All the erosion. Look at that. that used to, this used to be, you could literally go off here and put your foot on the shingle on there. Look at it now. It's changed a lot this beach. The shingle used to be miles up there. It's obviously being washed away with all the stones. And now the shingle being pushed up here, this was all just used to be a bit of sand. We used to fish off the top of that little bit there. You can see that pipe as well. Under there, in them little crevices on the first the concrete one, it's a bit of a load of mussels. Same with the second one. So when we come here, generally fish this left hand side, the sandy a bit, casting out just to see where the sand is getting onto that sand over here try and get on that corner it's where we normally fish here yeah, over this area where there's a bit less snags it's you could come down it that's high water you could come down at lower water and fish but well some people do but as you can see a lot of erosion on these cliffs it's enough the video is going to do any justice it's quite bright but i mean look at that bit daft going that close to the cliff site but to be honest these ones are not the best the ones I will show you later were better I don't know if I'll be able to show you I can see it but I don't know if the camera will pick it up right in the very very there you go you can pick it up on the camera see what that pier in there that's at Sigham Sigham Harbour Pier there's another pier that's the south pier no that's the north pier and the south pier is the other side Lovely stretch. There's loads of nice deep rock pools in here. I've come in and minted this deer many at that. I mean, a summer's deer many a time with a bottle of beer me and I had and sat on a rock pool and just had to chill out with a few friends on there. And you can see there's another beach in that corner there. It's a good little beer. Obviously, you'd have to go there at the very low water, fish a few hours, then make your way back because the water comes right round that corner. You get stranded. Right. I think I've shown you enough of this beach. A lot of rocks on the right. We've also got a lot of weight picking off here. Some people, first, believe it or not, have been fishing from the top of here by the looks of it and casting it there. Do that, they've been washed in by the current because I've found loads of weight in these rocks over here. Loads. It's a lovely deer as well. And the clouds coming over doesn't look like it's making me raining, but I thought I'd sneak this quick video in. Anyhow, that's just the rock features. So, you could cast either side of that pipe. Now, someone did tell us they had one of their personal best cod casted on the right hand side of this pipe. And every time we come, we always cast close to the pipe. 
see how it straightens out when my finger's pointing in that little gap bit around there that's where you want to be aiming if you're fishing from an angle anyway lovely day for it as you can see and this is just one bit of the riot beach i'll show you in the next beach it's a bit more rugged compared to this but i'll show you it in a minute hope you enjoyed so far hey as you can see it's a view from a higher point See the beach down below and the pipe. Heading on to a thingy now. This is the walk, the cliff walk shows there. A few cliff top spots are on there for viewing. Sure you when I get them. Now, this is what's known as right now. Uh, if you go on the internet actually and type in the target fishing mark, right, on the, and it comes on a, the sea angler. And they've actually got a bit about the sea angler and it's a picture like this from here. And it tells you all about the mark. This is a two hour mark, two hour before low water, fish low water, fish two hours up mark. Or you could fish from the top of the cliffs either side from high. Now, this is no beach access, but there is. It's not easy beach access, but I can get down. Basically, I don't know if this, I haven't been there in a while, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna scope her out. I'm not gonna obviously risk anything or do anything like that. See that? Them steps, they go all the way down. I'll just check the steps to the right and you can get down on that platform thing there. And there's a bit where you're just curling yourself around and you're onto the beach in two seconds. There's a little cove there, that side. I'll have a little look and see if you can get down there for you. All right, so I'm on these steps a bit there now. Just come two steps down, just so I can see over there. There used to be steps going all the way down. But now, as you can see, they've either run away or been took away. Now, I've seen recent footprints because it's been dry for a few days, it was raining a couple of days ago, and there's been footprints all the way down. I don't know if, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but there's actual, as you can see there, there's footprints over the overhang. There, as you can see. And when I look on it, it looks like studded weirders, so obviously fishermen have been down here. They've obviously went on there to get onto this rock here. I mean, I could do it to be honest if I had any gear, but I'm in nice clothes, I'm not going to risk getting muddy. It's an easy enough, it is easy. Just get onto there, on your box side, just cut yourself across that top bit there, and it's then it's just easy to be honest. You just go on that side bit there, and then you're on that rock, and then the access I'm guessing is still around that other side. But it's the same type of pint, but this is solid concrete goes out quite a way as well so you actually get on that pipe as well from over that way from, over, from down there you get on it you go over there there's like a bit of a thing step thing and you get on and you walk along and you fish off it below water main species here are probably codlin you get occasional white and you get coral fish and in the summer do you do get some heron and sprats in that field as well and maybe mackerel so I've got my off Riot Beach, so why not? As you can see, it's very, very rocky. It's rocky both sides. I mean, that side, the sea cast to the left side, same with the, both beaches. As you can see, it narrows out a bit and it's less rocks. There is still rocks, but not as many. You do lose some tackle here, but it's a good, good winter spot. As you can see, look at the cliffs, the erosion. It's on both sides. tell you a story actually I had a friend came down there oh must have been maybe nine ten years ago with a with a dad and mum the rest when you can get easier access much easier and there's proper steps and you can get all the way down and one of my friends fell off this bit here in here see that there that was like quick, quick mud I would say, quick sand, quick mud, and literally he started sinking. Oh, I managed just to get him out. Uh, there's four of us under him trying to pull him out. I managed to get him out. Very lucky escape. Because if it wasn't mud there, it was hard. He fell there, rolled down there, gone a one-way destination right down to that bottom, which will probably kill you. Probably as well. I mean, if you're very lucky and you land on your legs or something like that, you might break your, all your legs or 
break your ribs or something or back or something like that you might survive but a very very challenging coastline this there is easier spots as I, like I see like as you see in the videos there's the likes of Ratliff's Corner there's both Rock up here Sing and pay if you need it to get a membership you pay £35 a year and you can become a member of the club yeah there's South Shields pair there's cat and dog steps at Seaburn which are easy the glass centre there's all the river way you've got the river Tyne Newcastle way all them fishing spots this is just one challenging coastline I've never ever fished from here properly before but I do know people who do uh, if any beach I would like to fish I'd rather fish that one over there it's safer it's easier it might not get as many fish you do get fish from there because I know someone used to catch loads of codlin from there and the other pendant promenades right over that way I'm not going to take you there because I've shown you on many videos you know the gist the end bit is where the falls is the fishing spot right at the end as you've seen on the videos before if you'd want to see that video of the falls I would recommend you check them both out especially the one where I've got the picture of us holding that cod in the video which took very very hard and long to get up by myself it was and the cliffs they're higher than this the, well about the height of this the falls quite high as you can see and I had a cotton out right at the bottom and I had to haul it all the way up the top but anyway this is the video hope there's been so instructive for you I didn't just come out with this video I wanted to walk as well I thought I might as well do a quick video since I haven't done it for a couple of weeks thing is fishing our way has been really inconsistent there's not the end of the cod season is basically over now really and we're getting on to summer species and stuff like that I'll probably do a river time video soon which will be the next few weeks I'll put the next video will be something like this stuff like this as well and then I'll do some actual fishing in the river time or something like that for flat fishing cod anyway hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching please like and subscribe for more and hope you enjoyed this short scenic video thank you